Welcome back to the production here, dude. Today we're continuing Mode Ninja Girls Season 1. We are on uh, Chapter 8 now, which is Pieces of a Puzzle. In the last episode, we got um, Yamabuki to join in. <laughs> it was under some funny circumstances, but uh, hopefully we'll be okay. And I do want to apologize to you. I don't know if my voice is going to be any better in this episode, but hopefully it will. I'll try my best, though. Don't worry. Oh, what? Okay, what's with the sudden sad music, bro? <laughs> Um, the cherry blossom is gone. It's Monday, the start of a new week. Yeah, that's very sad. Morning. Morning. Pretty much shaken up by seeing an unbelievable Kumi looking Akari. Oh, wait, you know what? I completely forgot, like, what happened in the last chapter, actually. I was referring to the one right before this one, and that, and that was when, um, in this chapter, we were trying to get Unju to join, and then a bunch of shit happened. <laughs> That's why Yammer Spears blew me, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I... I'm sorry, I forgot about that. Look, it's been a while since I recorded an episode, okay? Are you, still, are you still thinking about what happened last week? I want her to cheer up. If he doesn't, I'm gonna be out of form too. When you doesn't hate you, I'll treat you to lunch or... John, let's do something funny. <laughs> uh... What should I say here? How about I'll treat you to lunch? Or, you know, actually, I don't think, I think this is better, like, I don't care if I'm not appealing to Akari in this one, I just want to say, look, Unju doesn't hate you, okay? Unju doesn't hate you, you know. I wonder. It's just, you two are a bit at odds. It's like an act of jealousy. Jealousy? No, that does t sound right. <laughs> uh, anyway, it wasn't because she hates you that she got mad like that. I don't know. I'm positive. She's just worried about you in her own way. You just need to talk to her again. You need to believe it, don't you? You guys are friends, right? Yeah. Well, you know. Cheer up a bit. The manager's like that. Everyone's throwing off their game. You're right. Yeah. Kari's expression doesn't change, though. I want to cheer up, but no matter how I try, I just can't. I see. I'm sorry. I want to think about it a bit by myself. Kari gives a weak smile and runs off to school. I guess she does need time. I get it, but... Uh, hey, Jongi, what's up with the car? Is Akari Senpai okay? Worried about Akari. All the members of the Ninja Seeking Club are worried about Akari in their own way. Isn't there anything we can do? Let me see. I don't know what we can do now, but if Akari stays like this, I have to say that it is the end of the Ninja Seeking Club. What? No! We haven't even found any ninjas yet! Johnny Senpai? But you can't start the Ninja Seeking Club by yourself, Speaker. Or Spicer. <laughs> I don't know how you say it. I'm just gonna call him Spicer. <laughs> um, Akari comes up with the idea. Spicer livens up the situation and Jongi manages everyone. Then Rika tags along and Mew gets sucked in. <laughs> Yamabuki teases everyone for fun and Uju is the one to get angry. This wonderful balance made the Ninja Seeking Club possible. But now the first one to bring this up is missing. Oh, that was an inch closer to you. Okay, <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Alright, come on. And yes, I've been purchasing story tickets. I'm trying to get season one complete in like a timely manner. <laughs> or at least just record everything because, you know, I don't got a lot of time. <laughs> so, um, so now what do you intend to do as vice manager, Jongi? Only one thing to do. You're going to cheer Akari up, right, bro? Why are you answering in my place? <laughs> it's say something. <laughs> Senpai. Chongi, what are you gonna do? All eyes are on me. Well then. So let's start a strategy meeting. Oh yeah! Yay! Yeah, yay! Mew, you don't have to force yourself to be pumped up like the rest of them. Oh come on, Chongi. At times like this, everyone's gotta pump it up. Yes, he's right, Chongi. There's no point moping around. Is that right? And so, yay! Yeehaw! <laughs> Alright, cowboy. <laughs> yeah, yay. Hey, if you don't have it in you, it is okay. After pulling myself together, I clear my throat and start over. <clears throat> so now, the subject is how to cheer Akari up. Does anyone have any good ideas? You are leaving all the responsibilities to us? And help it. I've never really put serious thought to cheer up anyone. 
I'm good at finishing people off, though. That's dealing with things physically. What do you think we should do? Of course. Girls of gifts. Presents. Donnie, you think- Oh, you just think you can get away with girls if you buy them something, don't you? Basically, you bribe them to forgive you. <laughs> uh, won't that work? But in the games of play. Let's separate 2D from reality. Unfortunately, there's no love meter in the real world. You can't check the storyline beforehand, either. Well, the present idea might work. Let's go ahead and put in the minutes. What about you, Yamabuki? Me? If I get a present, I'd feel a lot better. Um, you might want to rewind the story to seven lines earlier and check out the comment you made to Johnny about giving a girl a gift. Well then, for real. What about inviting her to a place where she can relax or something? Something like an amusement park or a theme park? If she can play around, she'll feel better, right? I see. Relaxation. But it would be difficult to go out on a weekday. Yeah, that's true, honestly. <laughs> um, are there any other ideas? Animals. Oh wait, animals make you feel better. Hmm, animals, huh? Like a rabbit. Oh yeah, bunny. <laughs> you know, like um, like the bunny on her head. Uh, well, he definitely got excited at the breeding house. Speaking of bunnies. Hmm, what? I think it looks like she's going to say something. We can count on her. I'm pretty sure she has a great idea. Speaking of bunnies... Psych! <laughs> Bunny girls. <laughs> My bad. It was a mistake to expect anything from you. What do you mean? You said bunnies. I say bunny girls. They'd make anyone happy. <laughs> Only guys would be happy to see them. That's not true at all. Everyone would be happy and will get a standing ovation from the gentleman. Ahem. <laughs> By emph emphasizing the standing part, you mean... <laughs> she means long and hard, like a red. No. Hey, shut up. Don't say anything more. <laughs> that is a forbidden word. I'm about to get demonetized. <laughs> he keeps going, this will go R rated. <laughs> Bro, this about to turn into some 18 plus type of shit. You keep grumbling about other people's ideas, but what about you, Jongi? Me? I. Hmm. Uh, dang, I can't think of anything. Food. Oh? Eh? Was that? <laughs> Together. Look, don't just say one word at a time. Elaborate. <laughs> I get it. You got the saying in Japan, right? Eating from the same pot, you mean? Yes. Let's dig up a pot. Dig here. Bow wow a woo. Huh? Uh huh. You understood that? Certainly eating a meal together might be a good idea. That was how Rika and I made peace with each other. Is that why she opened up to me then? That's it. Well, definitely. Good food is a source of energy. Uh, you're so simple-minded. Well, it's better than doing nothing, though. If it gets your feelings across. Oh, yes. Let's get Akari up with some good food. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Um, well, then. What do we do for food? Eating together in the cafeteria isn't any different from usual. Good point. And what about eating out? Yo, I kinda like that idea though. Wait, is that allowed? Um, as long as we get back during lunch break. Uh, uh, it'll be fine. Also, I know a good place. I think it seems to look sideways at me. Oh, stop showing off your breasts. What the hell? It's a bit of an expensive place. If you pay for us, it might look cool, you know. Are you asking me to treat you guys with my broke ass? <laughs> Why not? You're not losing anything, are you? No, I'll lose something. I'll definitely lose money. <laughs> About to be in the negatives with my, um, income. I don't think you could wear me in with a peek down your shirt. <laughs> Beauty God's duel. No spirit of youth. That's not what I came for. When I'm about to die, I think uh, back to my younger days. I have to have memories of something homemade from a girl. Yes, whether it's a birthday present or Valentine's chocolate. Something homemade by a pretty girl. Nothing can beat that. <laughs> ah, those things where the girl mixes in her blood and... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Her blood and hair and whatever. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the cat's the hex. You need... No, I'm not into crazy yonder girls. <laughs> um, no, I'm talking about the real world. You hear it all the time among girls, you know. Girls always like love spells. Whatever it is, please stop talking about it. I won't be able to eat anything a girl makes anymore. <laughs> um, let's set aside... Let's set aside mixing stuff in. Don't do it, though. Absolutely do not do it. Now that I made that clear... We now have two ideas. With these, we can... 
Wait, wait, we still haven't heard your idea, Jongi. Nah, no, don't mind me. That won't work. Everyone wants to know what the vice manager thinks. So let's hear it. Hmm, my opinion, huh? Ooh, so something homemade will express our feelings. What's a good place to take a girl or sushi should do? Let's see, uh... <laughs> okay, so question, um... Who is making the homemade thing? Because if it's Jongi, I don't know how well he can cook. He, he, yeah, he, 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 <laughs> he. But yeah, um, if we make it, I mean, might be decent-ish. I mean, he is a ninja. Maybe he knows how to cook at least. Because, <laughs> you know, survival skills. And good place to take a girl. I don't know, I'm torn between those two. Because the last one seems kind of dull, of course. <laughs> like, eh, just buy our sushi and then call it a date. <laughs> Let's try something homemade. Let's put our feelings into it, after all. Well, I think something homemade should express our feelings. You've been listening, Jongi? You got no sense of self, uh, preservation as ever. No, like I said, don't mix anything in it. Just something normally homemade. Sure, whatever. The problem is, can you cook, Jongi? Hmm, not very well. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Jongi, you're never gonna make it with girls like that. These days, chicks love a guy who can... Hey, and what about you? Woo, whoa, I don't know. Uh, don't look away. Don't, oh, don't look away. Don't whistle. Especially when you're not so good at it. <laughs> um. Hmm? What is it? Could could I try making an old bento? Who? Uh, box of lunch? I don't have many friends because I'm shy. So when Akari Senpai invited me, I was really happy. So if Akari Senpai is in trouble, if I can help her, I want to do anything I can. I think I can be useful. I glance at the others. Obviously, there are no objections. John is giving a thumbs up. Uh, to me. I can see how he feels, but the credit goes to Mew. Alright, Ninja goes through Akari. Let's go! Challenge a checkpoint. What do we gotta do? Oh, soul, please. Yes, my lord. <laughs> um, okay. That's checkpoint within the time specified. Cool. Akari 1100, and I got <laughs> a lot of that. Let's go. Accepted. Move on. Alright, I got an Ninjutsu Juice. Let's go! Alright. Um, go for it. <laughs> sure, leave it to me. Good job, you. I can feel your good vibe. Guess we're all gonna be in a big circle eating lunch, right? We should find a big open space. Uh, uh in that case, the rooftop would be the best, wouldn't it? I'm guessing I guess Akari would love homemade lunch then, because it did say we're an inch closer to her. Or would, no, would the choice not matter there? I don't know. I mean, maybe we'll find out eventually. <laughs> like, when that unused options part comes out. Like, if I ever make one <laughs> on this. Anyway, um, huh? Is the rooftop open to students? Uh, wasn't it open, Rika? Remaining <laughs> No, she snuck up there, bro. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's the only reason she went up there and I guess nobody caught her. <laughs> She's a ninja after all. A ninja assassin, anyway. <laughs> nah, she definitely was not allowed up there. Uh, so long as no one finds out, there is no problem. I can see a problem. Well then, we've solved the problem of the location. It's not solved. Mm, hey, wait. Making enough for everyone is going to be a lot of work. Can you handle it by yourself? I can do it. Count on me. Great. I'm so looking forward to it. I'll take care of partying it up. Nice. Everyone in the Ninja Seeking Club is all fired up. Alright. I wish Akari could see this. Look, Akari, these are all, uh, there are all these people who care about you. Don't stay depressed. Hurry and come back as the Akari we know. Akari really is being loved. But Akari isn't the only one who's depressed. I should button a little on the other side, too. <laughs> Wait, Zenju. Zenju just said. <sighs> Hi, how are you? Hello, hello. Tenge. What are you doing here at this hour? Seems without a special reason should go home. Serious as ever, I see. A string too tight will break easily, you know. Mind your own business. Sock, just a little. You really are serious, as expected. Oh, wait, a newbies. Or a newbie. <laughs> no bye. <laughs> Most obedient servant. Don't say that name in front of people. You know what you're saying? You should know better, right? There's no one within hearing distance. In other words, we can talk about secrets all we want. For instance. Stop it. <laughs> Did you come here to provoke me? 
If you don't have anything to say, I'm going. You're always like this, overreacting. You're like a scared rabbit. Hmm. I wonder what's going on there, then. Um... You're just afraid of being exposed of your true identity? You Wait a minute. Eat? What is this? Yo. <laughs> got some sauce going on here. Some tea. We gotta spill the tea, boys. And girls. Can't, can't forget about the girlies. Uh, use your practice to be good at lying with a smile. Otherwise, you'll always be second rate. No, third rate. What do you know about me? I... I... <laughs> What's so funny? Do you laughing at? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're so honest, didn't you? But it won't work. It won't work like that. You're just not made for it. For what? You don't have much time to spend at school. For the time we have to spend as ordinary students, try to spend it without any regrets. And so... Where are you going? Well, of course, I'm an honest and upright student, aren't I? I'm going home. See you later. Okay, so no secrets are going. <laughs> they really did me- They really do me like that, bro. So anyway, at lunch the next day. Um, Akari. Yes? Akari's still down. What are you gonna do for lunch today? Um, I haven't thought about it. What should I do? No plan, huh? That works out just fine. Come on. Uh? I take Akari by the arm. She doesn't know what is going on, but I drag her out of the classroom. That game, you are already waiting. My job is to bring Akari to the party. Eh, what? Where are we going? Isn't it obvious? Lunch. Hi, how are you? Yes, lunch! Before I do it, John winds up next to us. Uh, we couldn't do anything for you yesterday. Now everyone's waiting for you. Here we go, up on the roof. Rooftop party. <laughs> you couldn't see... Couldn't see it, but in real life I was like raising my hands up. Like, raise the roof. <laughs> um, Tenge-san? Mew? I'm here for you, Akari. And Mew too. Right! Mew interrupts the square cloth sitting on the rooftop floor. It's a large lunchbox. Or lunchbox. <laughs> I, um... I don't know what I just said there. Anyway, uh... This is... Yes, I made it! You made all this, Mew? Yes, I thought it'd be nice if everyone could eat together. And anyway, please enjoy it! Mew opens the lid to the lunchbox. Inside are a variety of delicious looking side dishes all of all colors. Alright. This is a lot. Wait, I think, uh, no, this is the second to last part. Because then it'll say, like, 8 out of 8, and then we'd like to proceed. Anyway, um, my, amazing. You really worked hard, didn't you? Yes. Awesome, but are there too many rolled eggs? Ah, that. I didn't know if everybody liked sweet ones or salty ones. I thought I should prepare two kinds. I made a lot of other things. I didn't know what would be a good dish, and so I kept on adding more. But that's why it's such a big lunchbox. Five layers. No problem. Don't underestimate a growing boy, right, Johnny? Yes, I'm like starving. Oh, Johnny, did you bring the chopsticks and paper plates? Was that? <laughs> boy. Hey, you were in charge of plates and utensils, right? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Got them right here, see? Oh, then let's all sit down. Can't believe Vicky spread out the lunchbox. Righto. Bacardi, too. Come on. I think I invites her with a gentle voice. But why? Don't worry about it, let's eat. Lunch break is going to be over. Yes, I've been so looking forward to this that I skipped breakfast. Kari, pick up your chopsticks. Y yeah Let's see, let's see. Well then, let's eat. Itadakimasu. Wait, can I say that on? Itadakimasu. <laughs> I don't know how you say any of these. Itadakimasu. Oh, this is delicious. What is this, sushi? Ah, yes, it's sushi roll. Um, you said you wanted to eat it, Johnny Senpai. Wait, was that the correct, is that the correct kind of roll? Like, that's not spelled right. I don't know. Oh, thank you, thank you. My turn. Ah, I'll have the rolled egg. I like the sweet kind. Okay, that's this one. Mmm, this dish is very good. You, you're ready to get married anytime. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, uh. <laughs> that guy's being real as they're teasing. Hey, you eat too, Akari. It's homemade by your Kohai, you know. If there's something you want to eat, I'll get it for you. It, it's fine. I'll get it myself. Akari takes a piece of rolled egg with her chopsticks, and then she uncertainly puts it in her mouth. It's delicious. As soon as she says it, tears roll down from Akari's eyes. It's yummy. It's so yummy. Really? There's plenty, so eat as much as you want. I hope it cheers you up. Yeah.
All right. All right, we're on the last part now, actually. Okay. Well, you're gonna be on edge if you're hungry, right? Eating good food and sleeping is essential to keep up a uh, high sprit. <laughs> That's what I do to survive the inferno. You should do something before the situation gets out of hand. Okay, you're making a right argument while you are still crying. Come, come, you shouldn't cry so easily. That guy gently offers a handkerchief. Tears are a woman's weapon. You should not show them until the right time. Thank you, Tange-san. Hey, Kyar, you know. Don't want to thank you. But I said I saw a ninja, nobody believed me, right? But only you did, Akiar. You listened to me without laughing at me. Cardi, you are my... A Cardi, light of hope. John, is that supposed to be a pun? You figured it out. <laughs> Cardi eats Mew's lunch, crying and saying over and over how uh, good it is. Looks like you're feeling a little bit better. Now it's my turn. I'm about to say I'm going to eat when Akari comes up next to me. Jongi? Hmm? Oh, what? Thank you. You came up with this, didn't you, Jongi? It wasn't me. It was everyone. I see. Was the lunch good? Yeah! An energetic answer and a smile. We did accomplish that much of our goal of the day. Probably feeling a little bit better. Or a little better, because <laughs> I don't like saying a little bit. Uh, for now, that's enough. I should eat too. I'm glad you're feeling better. Yeah, I'm glad you're feeling better. Thanks. Ah, Rika. These dishes are really good. Try them. <laughs> so good that Akari is back to normal, isn't it? But even though Akari is feeling better, it's one more hopeless girl to worry about. What are you talking about, would you? Uh, you two are a lot alike. You love helping people, you're active and kind. So I'm sure you understand how she feels. Uh, please, don't give up on her either. After that, it just gets... Boist... Boisterous. <gasps> or boisterous. Tenge and Yamabuki are teasing John, who's making a ruckus like an idiot. He was a little more excited than usual, and Rika's just being her own self like any other day. And a truly laughing Akari. Jongi! Hmm? The lunch was good. Great. Yes, this is much better in the end, even though I always wanted a uh, quiet life. I mean, it this noisy is actually fun. Oh, help me, Jongi! My throat! Something's caught in my throat! I'm happy <laughs> 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 oh my god. John's like choking over here. He's like, please open. And I'm just like, so hi, Akari. <laughs> Damn, Jongi's a freaking savage, man. And I love it. <laughs> anyway, you ignore me. <laughs> okay, I'm dying over here. The story just gets better and better, honestly. Um, it's the next episode preview time. Yes, it's your regular bookie and... Akari, fully restored. We will prevent or er, present the next episode. Hopefully, I don't prevent it. <laughs> anyway, ah, uh, when you were depressed, Akari, I didn't know what I should do. I feel bad about that. It's fine. It's fine. It's over. Thank goodness. Besides, now you're all back to normal. Yeah, but still, and you. That's that. I've been looking forward to in the next chapter. And so, let me sum up the next episode for you. Yesterday night, you lost a friend and drowned in a rain of tears. Day at noon, you took kindness as bait and chased after what was lost. Tomorrow at morning, with a restored spirit, you will see something precious with your own eyes. What is it that needs to be taken back? Chapter 9, Kendall's Wit. I'll do my best. I don't want it to stay like this. The day after tomorrow, there is... Uh, is there hope for a future you can haul in? Why not in this next episode? And we got an inch closer to end you. <laughs> I feel like we might just get a normal ending, honestly. Yeah, we'll do We'll just start off with this for now. So the next time we come back, we'll be on to Season 1, Chapter 9, Kendall's Wits. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this part of Mo Ninja Girls. In the top right corner of your screen, there's going to be an annotation to the next part once it becomes available. With that said, hopefully, um, y'all enjoy it again. And then, uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.